Hey everybody, time for another Territory War. I'm in a slightly bad mood because I just failed at the goal line to get crystals with my Gotenks account. But it's fine. It's fine. Um, doing a matchup with a really close guild to our abilities. And to me, the biggest thing that stands out, we, we do have close collective power and like legend totals, but average skill rating is exactly the same, 3504. So we have about equal capability in Grand Arena. And even look at the Arena rank and Fleet rank. Like people don't even like care about Arena rank anymore, but 36, 38, we're that even. 12 and 12 current Fleet Arena rank. Are you kidding me? This is like exact match. It's crazy. Uh, so let's see how it goes. I don't know what the walls are. Um, I also, I applied Trench Omicron. I think I can try it out here. Um, I may need to brush up on what uh, the best approach is. But we don't have tons of Ufus on the Ray Wall anymore because we don't have the Ufu Datacron anymore. So it's interesting how things change. Now that looks like a full Ray Wall. And this is... Oh, General Grievous. Okay, that shouldn't be too bad. Wow, that's actually kind of a soft wall. I mean, we got Malgus in there. Yeah, wow, that's crazy. Uh, the Finn team. Man, let's uh, try to figure out this trench. All right, so I picked out a Ray to fight. I'm actually going to use just a Scoundrel. Like, I'm limited on what Datacrons I can use. I'm going to use a Scoundrel ability block so I can make sure that I'm ability blocking Ray a lot more often. Yes, Dooku can do it, but... With Django and Newt being able to do it, much better. So why did I apply the Trench Omicron? Because uh, this is the third ever territory where Omicron I've applied. Um, part of the reason is because I do have a lot of Omicron mats piling up right now. There's not a compelling Grand Arena one I need right now until like Bane comes out. But you get a lot. Like this was a team I had literally ready to bake. Yeah, like I already had all the Zetas on Trench. I had them at R7 because I did that when he had his Datacron. Um, and just like putting one Omicron just completely transforms it. So it's, it's super powerful. 50% mastery, 75% max health and protection. Insane. Can't have term meter reduced. Uh, it's basically a um, vulnerable on extorted enemies. When an, en an enemy dispels a debuffs, allies gain 10% term meter. So we need to make sure we're containing um, Ray's inspiration. But the first time each enemy is reduced below 100% health, 20% off and stacking and five speed till the end of the battle. So that is a lot of things. It's just a huge impact on one team that it basically makes it go zero to hero. And that's what I'm really looking for in this. I don't know if this will actually win, but like supposedly Omicron Trench can handle Ray. And we shall see. So first move is to put that on him. And let's just dispel it in here. Let's dispel that way. And then that one trench. Cody block. I need to control that. Uh, inspire. I need to dispel desperately. Can't stun. Hmm. That ability block, um, sortie instead. That's unfortunate. Uh, but she's gonna get the ults and not. I cannot freaking hit Ray to get rid of that Inspire. That's a pain. There. Now we got it, but now she's gonna, like, take turns. Uh, okay. Just, yeah, just don't worry about it. Just, if you get, if you get shock on you, feel free to get rid of it. You don't you don't need to deal with that. That's for, for peasants. Spread the extortion. Mm 
Take a turn, Ray. Boom. Dude, that did not, that was not too bad. That didn't hurt too much. Okay, damage immunity. The ability block on there. Big hit. Everyone come in. Was a big time out risk right now. Oh, of course, yeah, you cleanse off that. A scoundrel in here. Basic ability block. Oh, that only is if you do damage. Okay, that's right. Okay, well, she is... Oh, I could kill with Django, that'd be great. Yeah, I don't think this is gonna work. It's just too slow right now. Like, the enemy is too slow. Now we're stuck here. That's great. Ah, it's so health. There, now we got it. After she gained tons of mastery. Like, take a turn, right? What's with your... This is backfiring on the turn meter. This pisses me off. Like, it pisses me off. Take turns. Your GL, your... Your speed is like 600. I now regret this Omicron. Go! Go! Go take a turn! Arrgh. Take a turn! I've done infinite turns. I mean, yes, in other situations, this would be good. Usually you want to take turns in a turn-based game, and not but when you have a freaking invincible character. The entire team is invincible. I can't do anything. Oh my god, die. Kill anything? Anything. Okay, she's dead. Don't make me click things to take turns. Oh! Can't even. Screw this. Freaking crap! I said forfeit! Okay. Mmm! <clears throat> I should have just picked this milk toast lineup. Like, I could beat that. Ugh. This game is so punishing to you. If you make a wrong decision, you just have to sit and stew with it. You can't do anything to change it. That's that's what makes me hate it sometimes. Literally painful. I literally failed at the goal line in Fleet Arena with my small account. No crystals for today. And then I just freaking time out. Time out are the bane of my existence in this game. I have hate it pick out my anger i'm gonna use imperial trooper mob gideon on this raid that i picked out that i should have attacked with trench useless trench and i don't even care yes i can beat job with this i don't know if this beats ray i feel like it should but this data crime is insane so whatever going in need to do something to get this terrible taste out of my mouth a failure due to timeouts <laughs> A galactic legend with like 600 speed is too slow. Uh, I don't have any dispels here. Oh, they nerfed that. Rebecca, oh, already in damage immunity. A whirl and someone, probably. That's great. Here's our dispel. Oh, oh, good. They're dodged. Does nothing, but whatever. 
this dark trooper is what's like ridiculous. Look at that crap. I need to kill. Oh yeah. Oh. Oh. Yeah. I use my revive ability. That hit that hard. Who did, who did she even hit there? Hey, okay, see, it's like I, it hits like crazy. Um. Damage immunity. Okay, they're all dying. Everyone's dying. If I get anyone back, and Holdo's a turtle. I have a dispel. It gets dodged every time. Hey, okay, you're dead. You die. Yes, you. Die. <laughs> I hate you. I hate. Why? Why with the dodges? Why? I am like such a bad day. I am so annoyed today. Like this this wins, but that was a crap team anyway. 18 banners. I'm really helping out the guild today, guys. Alright, I went to the south wall now to use uh dig out some grievances. I'll just use a potency thing for Night Sisters. I want them to die off a little bit at the beginning anyway, so it's like I don't care about stats, just give them some extra potency. Of course, it'll stop working after they get a bunch of stacks on them, but at that point, hopefully I'm fine. On. Kill the most is B1 to be revived when Droid goes into it. Okay, wow. We're gonna get that a set time. We got Mark on. I, I did that mainly to heal up Daka, like she's looking low. It'd be one's gone, that's good. They're not coming back. It's a lot less turn meter on the other side, too. Okay. Go at Droidica. I prefer Droidica not to be marked when I kill. Because if it's marked, it'll bring everybody back. Uh, so there we go. That worked perfectly. There we go. Something went with one. All right. Next up in the standard playbook, Amaratus against a Droidica team. Um, I don't. One of my few Rebel Fairgrounds. Yeah, the only other I got one Saw team I will have to try to use. I do have the Root Omicron, so maybe that'll be, or Datacron, that might be interesting. Um, so yeah, I can spare this Rebel Fighter one. What are the other ones I have? The other the other one's a Chirrut one. And I don't have any other Rebel Fighter ones. But I have the good level three, which I guess that's, that's in high demand. I could use it on any light side team, but eh. Uh, cooldown reduction.
uh, poke those exposes before they go away. Oh, there's the protection up. There's the protection up. Debuffs. Dang, I gotta see you, but it's not coming. Off. I don't want marked on Droidico when I do that. <laughs> now I'm gonna turn me to loot. Okay, I would like to use my ability now. Please. Uh, please, possibly. I'll kill him. I'm not even gonna back out if this goes, if I lose this, I'm just gonna, in fury, let it sit there. Oh my gosh, finally. <laughs> Gosh dang, like, what the heck? Let's please keep going on, uh... In. Okay, maybe I'll get out of this. Stall so I can get a revive with Jin. And it's for SRP. That's one. And then nothing there. You got time to get him back. <sighs> This is a controlled stall. All right, here we go. Big, big dog, take us home. New turn meter. How do you like it, Grievous? Now you're the one that's getting bullied, toyed with, instead of you just Never letting me get a turn. You deserve this. You deserve every bit of this, Grievous. You are the worst. Literally the worst. There. Good riddance. You know what I want to use? I want to use good old Jedi Knight Revan, and I'll just use all the other Jedi. All the other good Jedi on a ray or something. Take it on Azori. They got the debuff health damage. I got the recovery, bringing Plo Koon fifth. Okay, they're already here. Okay. Is there another Zori? I might just do Dash if there's not. No, there's not. Okay. Why was it right when I tried to do that? It's gone. Okay, well, Dash. What's the level six? It's a cooldown reset. That might be a problem. Yeah. It's pretty. The other one. You're right. Yeah. Top one I haven't looked at yet. Oh. Whatever. I'm gonna do it anyway. I'll just do it, big fat anyway.
caution to the wind. Just go in there. get a chance to do anything. Steal all that. And just kill him. Don't wanna. Don't wanna worry about it. Give out a lot of buffs, which can help get rid of that ransom. And there it is. Iron meter. get in here. Yeah, there. It's done? No. I have the strategic advantage now, so I can go ahead and do that. The freaking thick. Yeah, Hondo is freaking ramping up. You take out Quill, because IG 11 is really thick. Okay, there you go. Okay, let's just go to the condo, mark him. The community up there. Oh yeah, that heals him, I forgot. Um We do need to kill the others. Okay. There we go. I didn't doubt. Did you doubt? It was in a great sales pitch for Jedi Knight Revan because it was difficult, but even in Greater Rio, that would have been a good, better way. There's JKR. Alright, next up is Jedi vs. Ray. I'm going to use one of the good uh, protection up level 3s on. Uh, JML, and it's also got good potency, which helps get the ability block out there. Picked a the type I lost to earlier, uh, except there is JTR and Stabaris. I think I'll go first. Hopefully, we can get ability blocks out there. Oh, Revan, uh, I'm used to using Revan, and if we lose a okay, ability block, uh, it's a test. I think it's a testament to Revan's utility. Right. Building blocks, please. Very good. Of course, it comes off because, uh. Uh. It's gonna be shocked that she's the furthest away from going. And stun everyone. Of all that on him. Okay, the world one's gonna come on JML, so that's fine. Uh, keep going. 
I can do call to assist and still get to go. A big boom. Uh, let's get him under half, or maybe even kill him. No, not quite. Okay, I just gotta get rid of this inspiration. That to Jai Lu, because I would love to get another stun. I can actually kill Ben just like this. Or we can ignore taunts here. Maybe I want to kill. I think I want to kill Sorty. Yeah, forget her. Not everybody. Okay, no health still for you to recover. Yep, they're all dead. Okay. Yeah, that was pretty easy. Let's go to Hoda. I don't get banners for extra popping people off, but it's good practice, you know? I don't think there's anything else I can do while I'm stuck by this damage immunity. Okay, there we go. Now you're gonna die. Okay. And I'll, next, I might try Saw. Okay, so I will readily admit this is probably ill advised, but I wanna try out the power of Chirrut, Datacron. I'll turn again. Um, and he's been hitting really hard. <sighs> oh, that was a big hit already. And now Vase is dead. That's not great. Kill Chirrut. Still haven't got to. Everything on the map. Okay. Turn L3. Oh, I can hit you and do damage. 100,000? Okay. I don't want to do damage. Oh, another whirlwind. Okay, there we go. Good. Oh my gosh! What the heck? That sucks that, uh... Oh. Oh, we're still alive. How much is this gonna be? 205... Yeah, 205,000. Not too shabby. Care of her because, yeah. <laughs> oh my gosh. Game's gonna be annoying, JC. Okay, they didn't do Cheru. Uh, no one died. Take it. Oh my gosh, this is gonna work. Oh, this crap. Oh, I messed it up. Shoot. They still didn't die. <laughs> that worked. Oh, not out of the woods. Yeah, we got the. Okay, there we go. What? I thought that was just a stupid throwaway. I mean, I know how ridiculously hard he's been hitting, but it's like with all the the whirlwinds. I didn't think I'd be able to tank two whirlwinds, and I knew I thought I'd actually get stuck behind the damage immunity, which I did for a while. But that wow, that's a. Honestly, I'm glad they're investigating it. That is just way too much all right well i think that's a good time to take a break uh wait till we get to some other walls 
Um, yeah, that was several battles. I got plenty of stuff to counter stuff. <laughs> even our, even our prompt says use trench, and I finally gave it to him. But oh my god, but no. Yeah, so I got the dark, all dark side galactic legends, all four of them. I got Maul. Hopefully, gonna do a Maul uh, standalone team. Got Reva. Got Malico or Malgus. Got Afra. I got all kinds of stuff. Just gotta get to the back. Got Tuscans. Probably do something. Uh, so yeah, more to come. All right, back to it. Uh, we have poked through the bottom wall to a Reva wall. Um, and I'm thinking Phoenix and uh, the Tempire. Uh, so let's pick one that doesn't have Doubt Kron or an Empire Kron for Phoenix, because I'm not sure how that's going to go. Um, I th did I set L3 on defense with someone? Yeah, I think it. Okay. So I can look for another pre taunt. Uh, so it can work with any free taunt. Yeah, you do you. And then I'm gonna look for whatever tanks I have, see if I have a pre taunt. I'd even be like short trooper or something or a Sith trooper. I mean it can work with Kanan, but it's like Russian roulette. If they hit Rex with the torture, that's game over. Too sure. This pre taunt her, her pre taunt I think, isn't conditional, right? Yeah, it's all for one turn. Okay. Uh, so that should work. Okay, there we go. Alright, that works. Bit of full armor pen, but it's fine. Um, okay. What do they have? I have stacking offense, too. Alright, let's see. Short Trooper gets the job done. <sighs> Literally just there to take the hit, take the torture. Okay, and she survived. That's great. Please land days on everybody. Didn't get it on everybody, but it's enough. Uh, is this? self protect sword troopers, so it doesn't die. Yo got days on everyone now, even fifth. I probably should have saved that uh, days. Reapply. Yeah, there we go. There's the days. Second offense is. I don't know. I don't know how much of an impact it's having. Feels good. Uh, as far as the AOEs are going, like <laughs> taking them out, pretty, pretty reliably. Yep, uh, Grand Inquisitor. It's no good st stats on the other side, so that also makes it really a lot easier. <gasps> Almost. Yep, you're dead. You're dead. White. Definitely might have to get some armor shred on because he regenerates a lot. Maybe not. Good job, Chopper. Last stone's throw got it done. And 20 banners still worked. Alright, running Sith Empire on Reva uh, with a Doubt Cron. Just a level 4. I don't have tons of those right now. Um, I tried to find an opponent with Doubt, but couldn't. Uh, I checked a bunch, I got tired of looking, so I'll just pick this random one. Um, let's go. Oh, it's ninth. Oh. No, eighth. It should make it a lot easier, I think. 
Yeah, so they have doubt. Like, doubt has double implications with, um, Valgus lead, right? Because it's so baked into the cake. Here, everyone. Oh, good. He's gone. That's very... I get the healing immunity off of Bastila. Good, seventh is gone as well. I uh, don't want to pop those fears. The brother's just gonna counterattack me, so I'll keep going at ninth. Spread some more fear. On fifth, that's good. Donk. It'll be hard to get through Reva. I feel like that'll take a long time. We're getting there. Surely. Oh, I need to poke this. Good. I can get hit the stagger. That was kind of annoying, but susceptible to the drain life. Okay, that's the big hit on Reva. She can't do anything to stop it. Hatred gives her so much defense. Oh, that's the dispelling. No, they don't have a dispel thing. I forget why she dispelled. It's like an auto it. Got two and a half minutes left, but all I'm doing is waiting to cycle through probably to Malgus's big hit. Oh, good. She's down. One more. Ah, dang it, that, that was a waste. That's a reason not to auto. Uh, oh, there we go. Nice. Another territory war from now when they have a lot more of the Empire Daycrons, people have the right stuff. The team's going to be a lot more scary. All right, a few hours later, uh, the evening of day one for TW, and we got through couple of the next two layers of walls. They got through as well, our front. Uh, so here we got a, it's like a Seer Gidme wall. And um, I think there's, not Seer Gidme wall, Seer Malakos wall. Lord Vader and then JMK. Um, I want to do, I wanted to do Maul, but I realized Django, I use Django with Trench. Means I don't have an extra um, uh, Mandalorian. So I don't know if I can make that work. I can, they are still active if I have at least just Empire. So maybe I can find something that works here. I don't know though. Be kind of like a taunting tank. Think I have any? So yeah, that's probably not uh, gonna work. So I'm just gonna do a Lord Vader with Maul against uh, JMK, and we should be able to do the cooldown increase thing. So that's not gonna be a problem with the no revive. Even if it was, I don't really have revives here. I don't think. Um, Elro Guard. Thrawn. Darth Vader? Um, I think I have any. If, uh, yeah, Kylo Ren. I'll, I'll use him with big Kylo Ren. I got Inquisitors. Okay. Yeah, that's fine. Yeah, I want the debuffs. Or the damage from debuffs. 
like that for Imperial Troopers, but probably not gonna, like, happen. What are the stats on this? 10% uh, crit avoid, deflection, and tenacity. Okay, that's actually pretty good. Let's go. Let's see how, impa how impactful the mini Amplify Agony thing really is. That. That. I can ability block everybody. To Padme. There is this flash Jedi. Having no good stats is really, really hard on the JMK team. Okay, now we're up to ult. Let's take it around to another more Vader turn. Block. Now, can I kill anything? There we go, something died. And I think four stacks should be enough. Oh, I'll get the reset. That is not. That is an uncommon luxury. Being able to reset stacks. I did it like that. Here's your cooldowns. Little bit is so annoying. Oh, he, oh, he's got healing immunity. Oh, come on. It's crap. Maybe oh, you're a jerk. Well, we got through it. 19, not the happiest, but, uh... Alright, and I have one less last Doubt Kron. I'm gonna use it with the Sith Eternal tanks and armor against JMK. And it's a no revive. It's not really affecting anything, so... That's why I pick on one of those, because it does cause problems for other things. Uh, but let's see how impactful the Doubt actually is. Uh, I'm not expecting too much, but... Hopefully they dispel from Sith. Or hope they, hopefully they, or sleep the brute. Nope, Sith. That's uh, whatever. Uh, I don't stay. A, is there doubt on people? One, two, three. Okay. No doubt out there. Back the tank. 
really hope I get to another farmer. That was kind of more like shock. Gain buffs to recover protection is the main thing, because I can't get turn here anyway. Okay, well, I got this off. And the benefit from the Dow is pretty much used up. Of course, you get the ultimate jerk. Okay, zap. Can't crit him, so that is really helpful. Healing immunity is annoying. Whenever I can relink, I'll do that just to get. Okay, no more. Healing immunity. Good. If I had my choice of stats, I'd like armor or um I'll steal here. I don't have my choice. Do this just to cycle rid of that. Play the healing immunity on me right now. Okay, good. Zap. Just mono e mono. I mean, Yoda told Kenobi he was not strong enough to fight cities, so I don't know why he tried. All right, now Supreme Leader kind of ran against Lord Vader, not with an Empire Dagacron, because I think that would be just too strong. Uh, but just kind of a well, we both have Hut Cartel Dagacrons just for a dark side bonus. So, it's not like incredible lineup. Still gonna be a bit of an uphill battle, but got a lot of random itches. So. Good, we get to go early and get rid of the. Oh, there's an R5 for Olgar too. That does help for certain. Uh, we got to get rid of the. Frenzy. That's the word I'm looking for. Just wanted to get the double stacks, but also, also I didn't crit there, so maybe I should have. Question is, is Thrawn gonna pass a turn over? Because if he is, then I'll die. If not, then I have another chance. Okay. So he didn't. I'll do this, even though it's not optimal. Otherwise, I'm also gonna kill me. Oh, God. Him here. Nope, didn't kill him. I'll keep it. Gosh, that's this like okay. I should just not done ultimate. Like I'm trying to figure out how much turn meter Maul is gonna get, and it was just such an in between case. Okay, I'll do that. 
and scoundrel bonus probably for one of my cooldown resets yeah this one Please go well. It's not a great start because he didn't have this AoE off cooldown and Man, Bando better come in here. I'm just gonna get rid of them all, do the armor shred in a second. If that's the thing I read of. Okay. Uh, I feel like I can only win this when it's I have the numbers advantage, but I think it's been like that for a while. It's just not it's not a start fresh off the bat counter. Alright, here we go. Inquisitors versus JMK. I do have one Empire data card left. That's the deepest offense, which actually should be pretty nice here. Um made sure to pick one that isn't the no revive because that is a huge pain for Reva because as if cat gets any turn then she'll get wrecked and also I, I noticed they have a lot of r5 so this should be pretty easy now we don't have ufu crons anymore but these are still empire it's like inquisitors always have something like they're ufus they're Inquisitors and their empire. They have so many tags. It's like It's always gonna be some kind of applicable mechanic for them At least, at least it's very likely. It's like a cross Two different sets at a time like by the time One is cycled out the second one after is gonna be Coming back around to them in some way shape or form yeah, and this was just a decimation. Decimation, desolation, all of it. Self there. Body blog, this might kill him. Yeah, that's so much damage. Now look out for Inquisitors for the next few months. Next four months. It's too easy. It's like child's play against JMK. Alright, I'm using a CLS team. Pretty standard one. I haven't used these, one of these in a while. I feel like I was using Rogan Datacron. I had him on defense a lot. And yeah, it's just a bunch of stuff. Um... And now I have this cooldown reset. I was just looking for possibly better level 3s. Because that's a terrible level 3, but I'll just take it. Got some armor pen, I guess. Uh, but what I'm fighting is a Seer team. I feel like this might not go well. Um, but... I don't know if I'd feel great about taking that team against a CLS team, so who knows.
take him out first, so... No, don't throw the rocks. That is not a scoundrel. There we go. We take out Seer. No, not the. Okay, he's not hitting too hard. Oh no. Oh, come on. That's why I wanted to kill her. I hate that move when I'm going against it. I love it when I have it, but... Chewie, can you just wake up? Whatever. 19. That's, that's fine, I guess. Now I wonder if a Tuscan's team can handle the non-crew version of one of these, because they do get a lot of turn meter. Uh, it's worth a shot at least. Uh, my biggest worry is Seer still, like, she could just... If Malikos hits hard, yeah, but Seer is... Ridiculous. No Cal over there, which is a massive help. Of that SD up. Oh, <laughs> uh, that's uh, that's Chieftain on for you. And there you go, yeah, he's gonna melt. Oh yeah, in 3v3 I used Seer with Malakos against Tuskins and Malakos just melted. That was, we're gonna have to manually bring down Fulcrum because she shrugs off every debuff. Massive damage. Uh, 32 might not be enough to kill him full health and protection, so... Yes, it wasn't quite enough. But he's going down. But yeah, crew... I mean, I might have been able to take out a crew anyway. Enough hits from Warrior. There's no Daekron over there either, so it's an easier matchup. 160 stacks momentum. And this Daekron's powerful with all the assisting from Chieftain, but it's like so slow and annoying. It's such a dumb animation. It's a bad animation too. Let's take a squat. Think from a bowl. Like, why get down? Like, got to do the limbo or something? Okay, finally. Yeah, get out of here. Solid 20. Alright, that's it for day one. Uh, I gotta save Jabba and Afra. Jabba for potential Leia's, Afra for potential Jabba's, and then everything else I don't think really. Can handle these guys. Um, bad batch, actually. Um, but I think. No, nah, I think Malakos messes that up, actually. So, yeah, I'm going to call it a night for now and be back tomorrow, probably for ships. Uh, hopefully, ships aren't completely gone, but I don't know if anyone's really going to cry if I don't do ship battles in this. All right, back in action. We are through to ships, getting close to finishing that Kenobi wall and uh, the Lord Vader wall. Uh, not too many Leviathans left on this Leviathan wall. 
Here's Dorito starting lineup. I will do a mirror here. It already had an attack on it, so I'll get less banners, but you know, I'm I'm helpful. I don't need that because I am in control. I'll just leave it in Scimitar just because. This, this is what I was talking about in my Fleet Splits video about how a mirror, as long as they don't start with Sith Fighter, is pretty easy. We're going to get... Even though we're losing this coin flip here, should be able to catch up eventually. Also turn meter. Yep, got the turn meter there. A little bit more. What is unfortunate is we we're gaining turn meter before the first move of our capital ship, whereas they already had their capital ship. Like if we won the coin toss, we'd be in a much better spot, even because. We would have been gaining turn meter after we already took the full turn, but it still is fine. Oh, that's not great. Um, so what I have to do here is bring in Mark VI first. Because uh, I don't want my reinforcement to get destroyed. And it's basically immune. Maybe this isn't the best, but I don't want my sh my uh, normal fleet ships to die. I won't get the insta kill. It might be a long dragged out, but oh, yeah, heal him. I hate that. I didn't take too much valuable time analyzing that. Okay, so the other Sith Fighter's gone. Okay, oh, we just get their speed down. Now we can come up. Should be ahead of them in the race to the ultimate. Yep. Oh, and just a basic, not even a reinforcement, so they won't get their Mark VI out at all. Because I will steal their capital ship before they can. Auto. We're gonna stu we stuck behind the tank for a while. That dispel and shock, the basics, does help because we don't have that stacking shield. There we go, we got it done. So, yeah, this was a good example of a contingency where they got the breach the hangers out early. I had to call an audible for Mark VI, so Mark VI is immune to that stuff. Um, next, I'll do a Chimera, and all we have left are R9 Sith Fighters. We actually did a good job getting through this wall pretty fast, because I woke up like an hour ago, and it was pretty fall then. And I'm used to walls going kind of slower. And this is Leviathan, so it's the toughest wall. I was like, eh, I'll be able to get to it. This one is the RNG determinate one. Got the bomb landed on TIE Fighter. That's not the best. As long as this Terminator removal doesn't get resisted... Okay, that we're in shape. Huh. 
Even the R9 just died in one shot. That's perfect. You're really good about it now. Two RNG checkpoints passed. This out. Another RNG checkpoint passed. You get uh, Interceptor out, or if they get their breach, the hangers out too fast. I'll take out Malgus, because I'm already doing good work on the bomber. Nice. Perfect stun, so we can't counterattack and gain extra attacks. Wow, they didn't even get their ultimate off. That's great. Perfect 22. As you can see, it is neck and neck, just like I was anticipating. Uh, they got 8, 4, and 7. We got 4, 6, and 11. That's 70, 21 total. On uh, 12, 19 total. So they have 19 total left to finish. We have 21, so if we were to get 20 on the 2... We have more than them to attempt. We would still be down. Um, they have more fleets. So if, I'm assuming like a score of 20 each. But they have more fleets left to go. Which has better banners. So we're actually a little bit behind. Um, let me see how much is left here. Anything I can do. I have Java. I'm trying to save. But I might not. Alright, now we are through to the next wall of ships, which is <clears throat> Executor? I don't I haven't seen it yet. Now malevolence, okay. Um yeah, let's just dive into some of them. Or, or is there anything else hard that I should use my profundity on? Uh no, just malevolence. So let's go ahead and throw in profundity first and then Move on from there. I need to care about undersizing. That's TW, so I'll just do that. And Doing this wrong. Going all after Hyena. Okay. Ooh. Ooh. That's where we can really take some pain. Start all assisting, and we don't have our protection up bubble. Okay, good. Um, this one's the real Slim Shady, so we have to take out this one and then hopefully Spy's open to the rest of the hits. Um, stall. Oh, I should have I should have actually hit it so I could get the big trick of that specialized target thing where it removes stealth. Good. Okay. Nice and clean. Ooh. Uh, that's a gear twelve sun fact, so maybe I'll do mirror here. I kinda wanna try Radis. 
Yeah, I'm gonna try Radis and win one of them. Because um, we have comeuppance now. I want to use my new ship. It's six stars. I don't have a buff, so I won't use the special. This irresistible stun only if they have a, a buff on them. That's a stun. <gasps> I, th I think I can actually maybe take this out. Not quite, gosh. Dang it. I'll leave that thing alone. Cleanse it, that's kind of confusing. Once it takes a turn, okay, yeah, there we go, we got it. Man, that was four vulture droids out there. Um, for a weaker one, if there's a gear 12, I'd take that. There's a gear, a relic two. Okay, are you good now? This will probably be my last one. Ah. That's nice. I'll do this. My first time using this ship. Nice. I give some turn meter, but hey, wow. Spy. that assisted.
I don't want to destroy the capital ship because I feel like that uh, loses banners for me. Oh, damn. That's it. Actually, that went pretty good. That's a pretty nice ship. I mean, I'm not going to use it against executors or anything um, until I see tons of footage, but man, that's pretty fun. All right, things are coming to a close here. Uh, we're back to the last two walls. It's Starkiller and Aiden is the back corner. We were thinking there would be like Jabba or something or Leia is what we were really worried about, but no. So I'm just going to use my Jabba against one of these. Uh, that one has a level 9 Datacron, so I might do that one. Yeah, I'll just do the Shore Trooper one. So let's. Java. Everyone's at the top, actually. Alright, skip. Limbo. Push Omicron, and this will be my last battle. This TW. We should clear first. Uh, that doesn't mean we're gonna get the highest score. Uh, this is really close. It is super neck and neck. I'm surprised if Aiden could do anything against all this, but, you know, strange things have happened, I guess. Actually, it's pretty hard. <laughs> I wish I got this guy sooner. Yeah, that's it for me. Um, not gonna use like whatever I have. Qui Gon left. Nothing really. Freya, but we got plenty of GLs to take care of. So I'll just leave it as is. Score right now is twenty-eight three sixty-four to twenty-seven eight ninety. Both have two zones to clear. Um, this one you get 1330 by clearing, 1330, this one less, 1330, no, they're all 1330. We both have the same amount in zone cleared to get. We have 15 more teams to beat, they have 47, so that's plus 32, that's like probably at least 600 differential. It looks like they're probably going to win by a little bit, which is unfortunate. Hopefully not, and I'll come back with the final results. Well, I am back for the final score, and despite my concern, we got the W with a goal line stand in the back corner, which is... I don't know. It's either the best or the worst way to win, depending on who you ask. We thought for sure we lost, because we were behind on efficiency for a while, and then we had everyone in the guild like, who's dropping banners on Palpatine in the back wall? What's, I'm so mad. We got like, okay, drop, 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 drop. Like, there's plenty, way more drops than you should have on this back wall. It's like, at least you should wait. And we were expecting like Leia and or Jabba, so we had plenty of stuff saved up. So you'd think we could clear the back without dropping uh, when it's not really like a GL or anything. Yeah, so there's a lot of blame going around, but we still won anyway, which was funny. This was like two hours plus um, ahead of the finish. We're like, the, people were just trying to figure out who's to blame for losing, but we we still won because you still have to clear. You still it doesn't matter. The efficiency is important, but if one clears and the other doesn't, it's pretty much a no-brainer. Uh, I did get number one in contribution for banners this time. I haven't been doing that every time anymore, but it's nice to see. And also, we that this makes our 10th win in a row. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 10 in a row. Um, 
and we have already have an 83% win percentage in the past three months, 68% in the last six months. So we've really been rebounding the past three months. But that's a lot of green in there, this is on Swigga.gg, so... I don't know, pretty happy with the way we're playing in TW. However, I applied a TW Ormacron in time for this Territory War, thinking I'd be helpful. And it was just, it was just squandered. I just cost us five banners, so that's part of why I don't go for the TW Omicrons, because I might be trying something that's a bit of a stretch. Anyway, next time I'm going to try against a much weaker Ray. Next time I'm not going to go for like the Sorty L3 lineups. Definitely not as many, I'm probably going to try to avoid things where you can get stuck behind a taunt. Uh, but yeah, that was a fun TW. I started out pretty mad. Uh, at the beginning, not gonna lie, I was really frustrated with Fleet Arena, but I got Fleet Arena Crystals today on the Good Takes account, so I'm also in high spirits for that too. So yeah, a full day cycle of emotions in this one. Uh, thanks so much guys for watching, and I'll see you later.